This video demonstrates how to customize the quick access toolbar, the ribbon tab, and the ribbon panel from the ribbon user interface. From the drop down menu at the top left of the draft site screen, I can choose the classic default or the ribbon based drafting and annotation workspace mode. To make customizations to the interface, I'll click on the Manage tab and select the Interface tool. In this dialog box, I'll select Interface to first customize the Quick Access Toolbar. Click on the plus symbol to the left of the first item to expand the window and right-click inside it to create a new Quick Access Toolbar. Select the new item and give it a specific name. In this case, I'll call it My Custom Access Toolbar. I'll click on the plus symbol to expand the window again and select Show Command Explorer. Here, I can add or remove buttons to the toolbar. For example, I can remove the New and Print tools. To add a command button on the right side in the Command Explorer, in the Find bar, I can search for the Cancel command. Then drag and drop the icon into My Custom Access Toolbar. I'll close the Command Explorer since I'm finished customizing the Quick Access Toolbar. I can customize the ribbon by expanding the tabs. Right click and select New Tab. Rename it, for example, to My Custom Tab. I'll return here soon for further customizations after creating My Custom Panel. To create a new ribbon panel, I'll collapse tabs and expand panels. Scroll down and right click to add a new panel and rename it as My Custom Panel. If I right click on My Custom Panel, I can add a new row to host my preferred commands. To do so, I'll select Row 1 and click Show Ribbon Explorer. The Panel Preview window will now appear. After finding the Line command, I'll drag and drop it into row one, and it will appear in the panel preview. Now, in the panel preview, I can adjust the button to my preference by selecting the icon, and from the button style pull-down menu, I can change the style to my liking. For example, large button with text. If I scroll down in the panel preview window to add another command to row one, not only can I change the button style to large button with text, but I can also change the display text to P-Line. Press the Enter key and the result will show in the panel preview. Going back to row one, I'll right click and add a new dropdown. I'll rename the display text and type Control. In the bottom window are the line style and line weight commands. Drag them individually to control, and I can change this control drop down button to large button with text. If I highlight my row one again, I can also create a new sub panel in which I can add multiple rows. So in the sub panel, row one, I am going to drag and drop another few commands. Looking back in the panel preview, the commands with small buttons now appear next to each other on the same row. Similarly, to create row two, I'll drag and drop more commands such as baseline, edit, polyline, and edit rich line. Once they all appear in the second row of the subpanel, click apply. Once customizing the panel is complete, I'll return to the ribbon tabs to use the panel. I'll select my custom tab that was created earlier, browse through it, and drag and drop my custom panel. then click Apply to finish the tab's customizations.
to learn more about DraftSight and how you can increase your productivity even further with the powerful features in DraftSight Professional and Enterprise, visit DraftSight.com.